Good morning. So we're starting from the comfort of my bedroom. I'm starting off this video fresh faced. <laughs> I have started my prep. Yeah. So I've started my competition prep. Uh, I started on Saturday. So I've been doing it for maybe four days. Today's Tuesday, so yeah, like four days. We're gonna do a very gradual cut and take it pretty easy. Right now, my calories are still high for me, maybe low for others, but um, my macros are 65 fat, 100 protein, and 200 carb so for me like that's still pretty high macros for others I'm sure that's lower but I don't know I'm kind of used to that kind of calories I'm normally normally when I would cut I would go to like 1300 calories and not really count macros and just count calories and yeah I normally would diet on 1300 to 1500 calories so this is actually like doable for me I don't have a physique update. I will do one on Saturday. Today, I woke up really late because I worked until 1 a.m. last night. Uh, so I woke up late, didn't go to the gym like I normally would. Barely made it to class. So I'm undecided if I'm gonna go to the gym today. I haven't taken a rest day in God knows how long. Uh, so I might take a rest day. I might go and do cardio later. <laughs> Um, and I have my first meal of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna get some homework done and then uh, we'll see. powder and some peanut butter. Very simple, but very delicious. And so it's like 9.30 p.m. I think. And I just got back from the gym and showered. And now I am having my last meal. I just did cardio at the gym. I did go, <laughs> uh, but I just did like 20 minutes of steady state cardio on the treadmill. Wanted to do it on the Stairmaster because I feel like that's what my coach wants, but There's only four at my gym and one was broken and the other three were taken. So I just ran. I figure it's the same kind of thing I really like running anyway For supper and my last meal. I am having this So there's some rice in there 50 grams. There is 200 grams of edema on my beans, which holy shit I did not realize how much 200 grams of edamame was like that's nice it's real nice and then here that is uh 25 grams of cinnamon checks cereal and 15 grams of walnuts are kind of in the bottom and yeah i'm adding 150 grams of rice to my edamame beans once it finishes cooking so I'm just like waiting I'm so impatient that's gonna conclude my day I'm not really even hungry but I'm gonna eat this food and then go to bed probably watch some Netflix because I am low-key uh, addicted to Riverdale right now how mad am I that I didn't videotape when uh, I had makeup on it looked good of course of course I wouldn't do that. That would make sense. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, for real, that um, edamame and rice, so simple, but so freaking bomb. Like, no, and it took me a long time to eat, so it felt like 
I could eat for an hour and oh, it was just so nice. So I think that is going to be quite a staple coming forward or going forward in this prep. Yeah. But very good day. I uh, got that done. So it's the end of the day. Uh, I guess 8.30 at night. So it's still kind of early for the night time. But I just finished my last meal and I'm not hungry, but I just want to eat. Probably because I'm bored or I'm not completely full. I feel like I can always just fit more food in. Um, and instead of going downstairs to munch on food, I thought I would come to you instead. I have a moment of weakness, I guess. I'm feeling weak. Uh, and I'm also feeling weird because it's not like I'm four weeks out or eight weeks out or any of I'm like 17 or 18 weeks out so there's kind of a few thoughts going through my head at this point of time like being so far out there's a part of me that always thinks oh you're so far out what's the big deal if you cheat on your macros and what's the big deal with if you have like an extra tablespoon of peanut butter or, or you don't like you're not as accurately hitting your macros every day. Like, what's the big deal? You're so far out that does it really going to make a difference? So there's like that side of me that always comes up when I have a moment of weakness. And then there's this other side to me that thinks, you know, you may be 18 weeks out, but if you don't learn to discipline yourself and learn that those cheats are still cheats, no matter how big or how small, whether you, if you don't hit your macros, that's not a success you need to start training yourself now so that when you get down deeper into prep that you're not even tempted because you've created such a habit of hitting your macros, sticking to your goals, and just accomplishing it. I always get these two sides just stuck right in the middle of my brain thinking like, oh, I'm so far out, but you need to start uh, implementing this discipline now it may not be as critical as it will be four weeks out, but it's still important. Your goals are still important to you. And I don't, I don't know why I'm having these thoughts sometimes, especially when I'm not even hungry. I think it's just such a habit that I've created that when I'm hungry or when I'm bored, just turn to food. When I have so many other things I could do, I have so much homework, I have, I could pose, I could practice my dance routine for my bachata group, I, I have, I have a messy ass room I could clean, like I have so much stuff to do that I don't know why I would even consider thinking about food or thinking about like, oh I'm still hungry, like I have other things to do, but I just wanted to to put that out there, like the things that are kind of going through my head at this point, and especially being so far out and thinking like, oh, what's the what's the harm, you know? But I know I will be killing myself, killing myself tomorrow if I go down and eat some more food. But in this time of weakness, I just really need to shift my thinking, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to focus on a presentation that I have due in a couple weeks. I do not look like I'm stage ready. I do not have a single macro to fuck up right now. And I need this discipline right now because it's gonna get hard. Every single day is gonna be a hard battle. And this is where it begins. 18 weeks out is no time to start binging or start any of those bad habits when I'm not stage ready. I have quite a bit of weight still to lose. So yeah, those were some of the thoughts that I was thinking. And I put on my bikini and was trying to do some like posing, but I put on my bikini and just, I felt so gross and I felt I feel like I look really fat and bloated and like oh and then I 
I'm so dumb. I weighed myself and it was so much higher than I expected. So I'm very unhappy with that. I think that was a bad idea. And then I just got a whole wave of discouragement. But when you have setbacks, you can either choose to push harder and conquer them, or you can let them defeat you. And I'm not going to let that defeat me. I know that I'm capable of accomplishing anything that I set my mind to. So I'm just going to use that as fuel to fire these next 18 weeks into my competition. And if that didn't suppress my hunger that I was feeling before, I don't know what will. So, slightly discouraged, but I'm gonna let it motivate me and keep pushing. And also it's like, mm, I don't know, 10 p.m. and I've already eaten all my food for the day. I've drank in a lot of water today, so Am I surprised? And I've been feeling pretty bloaty and gassy for the past few days, so why did you weigh yourself at the end of the day after you know that you've been feeling really bloated and really gassy, so it's like... So, current thoughts. I'm gonna watch an episode of some Riverdale and then hit the hay. Gotta wake up early for glutes tomorrow. Yay!